Can nuclear energy be used for heating? On November 1, 2022, as the first nuclear energy heating project in northeast China, the Lianning Hongyan Nuclear Power Plant Nuclear Energy Heating Demonstration Project was officially put into operation to provide heating for nearly 20,000 local residents in winter. The total installed capacity of Hongyan Nuclear Power Station is about 6.713 million kilowatts, and it is currently the nuclear power plant with the largest installed capacity in China. It replaced the original 12 coal-fired boiler rooms. After the project is put into operation, it will have significant environmental protection benefits. It can reduce the consumption of standard coal by 5,726 tons, reduce the emission of carbon dioxide by 14,100 tons, sulfur dioxide by more than 60 tons, and ash by 2,621 tons. You may have some questions or concerns, for example, can nuclear energy be used for heating? Will the water radiation in the heating unit exceed the standard? To figure these out, let's get started. In fact, nuclear heating is not a new technology. In the 1960s, a jester, the prototype nuclear power reactor in Sweden, was completed and put into operation, becoming the world's first civil nuclear power plant for heating. Since then, many countries have begun to use nuclear energy for heating. About one-tenth of the more than 400 nuclear power units in operation around the world have achieved cogeneration. In the early days, distributed heating was mainly used for heating in northern China. The main heat source was small coal-fired boilers, which had high energy consumption and low heating efficiency. At the same time, there was no post-processing device, and the pollution was serious. With the improvement of people's living standards, the demand for heating will gradually increase, and China's urban heating market will continue to grow at a relatively rapid rate. Some research institutions predict that China's total heating supply may exceed 5 billion gigajoules within five years. This means that there is about 800 million gigajoules of room for growth. Although coal is China's largest primary energy source, in the long run, to achieve carbon neutrality, coal will inevitably undergo a process of reduction. Therefore, among the new heating in the future, the highest priority may be to use the heating transformation of the surrounding coal-fired power stations, so that the coal-fired power units can provide heat for surrounding industrial enterprises and residents while generating electricity. In addition, natural gas, as a clean and low-carbon fossil energy, is indeed a good thing. It has flexible utilization, high calorific value, and low pollution, and has also become an important supporting energy for Europe's clean and low-carbon transformation. However, the natural gas chaos in Europe brought about by the Russia-Ukraine conflict has also made us more aware of the importance of energy security. At present, China's dependence on natural gas has reached 45%. Once the dependence on foreign countries is too high, it is easy to be sanctioned by other countries, especially the application of natural gas basically involves all aspects of China's production and life. With the increasing dependence on foreign natural gas, it is even more important to find alternative energy sources. So, how does nuclear power heat? Nuclear energy is characterized by high efficiency and strong durability. There are currently two ways for humans to use nuclear energy, nuclear fission and nuclear fusion. Nuclear fission has reached the practical stage, atomic bombs have been created in the military field, and many nuclear power plants have been built in the energy field. Although nuclear fusion has produced hydrogen bombs in the military field, the energy field is still in the stage of scientific and technological research and has not yet achieved commercial success. Therefore, at present, nuclear power generation mainly uses the nuclear fission chain reaction of uranium-235 to release a large amount of heat energy, uses this heat energy to turn water into water vapor, and then uses water vapor to drive a steam turbine to drive a generator to generate electricity. At first glance, it seems to be very similar to a coal power plant. 
The main difference is that the boiler is different. The boiler of a coal power plant is a coal-fired boiler, while the boiler of a nuclear power plant is a nuclear reactor. The professional term is called nuclear island, which refers to the containment vessel and all the equipment or systems inside it. This containment is made of pre-stressed reinforced concrete, and a steel containment can be added inside the pre-stressed reinforced concrete containment, so that it can withstand even the high-speed impact of commercial aircraft. The core is the core of the nuclear island, mainly composed of fuel assemblies and control rod drive systems. The nuclear fission chain reaction will release a large amount of heat, which will be absorbed by the water in the core, flow through the steam generator through the primary circuit, and exchange heat to the water in the secondary circuit. The process after the secondary circuit is the same as that of a coal power plant. The water in the secondary circuit is heated and converted into steam with certain parameters, which drives the steam turbine to run and the generator to generate electricity. In this process, the water in the primary circuit and the secondary circuit is completely isolated. For safety reasons, the core is placed in a steel pressure vessel, and the pressure vessel, primary circuit piping, main pump and steam generator are all placed in the containment vessel. For nuclear energy heat supply, steam is mainly extracted from the secondary circuit of nuclear power units as a heat source, and multistage heat exchange is performed through the first heat exchange station inside the plant and the heat exchange station outside the plant, and finally the heat is transferred to the end user through the municipal heating pipe network. The principle is the same as the heat supply of coal power plants, which is the utilization of waste heat. There are multiple circuits for isolation between the nuclear power plant and the heat supply users. There is only heat transfer between each circuit, and there is no exchange of water, so residents do not have to worry about radiation. In the world, nuclear energy heating has been widely used. From the practice of nuclear energy heating at home and abroad, the safety and reliability of nuclear energy heating have also been proved. Although nuclear power is not a renewable energy source, compared with new energy sources such as wind power and photovoltaics, nuclear energy has a greater advantage in stability. As the country promotes the dual carbon work first, nuclear power, as a clean energy source, has received more and more attention in recent years. Currently, China ranks third in the world in operating nuclear power assembly units, with a total of 53 units and 55.53 million kilowatts. Moreover, China ranks first in the world in installed capacity of nuclear power under construction, with a total of 23 units and 24.19 million kilowatts. By 2025, the installed capacity of nuclear power in operation will reach about 70 million kilowatts, surpassing France to become the second largest country in the world in terms of nuclear power installed capacity. However, there is still room for improvement in China's nuclear power penetration rate. At present, nuclear power generation accounts for less than 5% of China's total power generation. Although it shows a trend of increasing year by year, it is still lower than the proportion of new energy, and it is also significantly lower than the level of many developed countries. According to the plan, by 2025, China's nuclear power operating installed capacity will reach about 70 million kilowatts. By then, more cities will feel the warmth from nuclear energy. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. See you.